after the game, you said something pretty interesting that you were here when the offense scored a lot of points. So you can't really point the finger at a defensive player. Like, did you see? I know you're focused on the defense. But did you see? Do you feel like with Josh, maybe they can turn a corner on uh, last Saturday and then move them forward? Yeah, uh, Josh is a great player. Uh, Coach Martin uh, always finds a way to put whoever's at quarterback in the right position. And uh, I feel like Josh just has that, you know, that motor well, uh, where he's going to make some plays just because he wants to. And sometimes that's all you need. What do you see from UTEP? Um, their offense, they're kind of struggling to score points as well. They don't have a win. So uh, what, what has stood out to you on the film so far about them? Uh, I watched a couple games about them, and they like to run the ball. And like I say, that's one of the things we needed to stop last, last week. And I feel like this is a, another week that we can focus on that stop in the run. And, and if we do that, it'll set us up real good for the rest of the season. It'll give us an opportunity to challenge ourselves to stop the run. They run with the quarterback a little bit more maybe than you and them do? Does that kind of, and he's a pretty good athlete, I don't know. Is he the kind of the focus when you're looking at stopping our run game? Yeah, I think uh, we went over the film a little bit and he gets about 50% of the carry. So that's half the game. And uh, we can stop him, that's 50% of their offense. So that's the main focus for us this week. So make it easier. So I guess prepare for them just because they are so run heavy and they kind of struggle to throw the ball this year? Yeah, uh, especially nowadays you have so many spread offenses. Sometimes it's, it's kind of refreshing to see an old school offense, especially as a middle linebacker, because, uh, you know, it gives me a chance to buckle up my helmet and play football. So uh, I feel like, yeah, when they, when they run the ball, it kind of take, takes a little mental, mental strain off you, but it, it's more physical. It's, it's going to be a more physical football game. How much of whatever struggles you guys went through were injuries versus, I think now with Malik back, um, I think it's I think this is going to be the first week everyone's been available. Yeah. How much has that been effective versus not executing in your mind? Um, the injuries, they didn't hurt us so much as talent. We have talent from, we have a lot of depth in, in the room, linebackers from D-line to the DBs, but the seniority and the leadership and uh, the confidence, I, know, I think, having all those players back and having those voices back on the field and just having, you know, all your brothers back out there with you, it gives you a little more confidence and a little more satisfaction with your defense so we can focus on doing what we need to do, you know, with the X's and O's. You got an open week coming up, and um, they haven't beaten you to, at the Sun Bowl for a while here. Um, how big of a, you know, confidence builder moving forward in an open week would that be, you know, your first win. Yeah, this is a huge game for us right now, and uh, it's a rival game. So you know we're always going to be excited about that, and the fact that you know we don't we haven't beat them many times down there that's another another plus. But like I say, we it was a rival game anyway, so I feel like we were already ready for it and we were already excited for it. So that's you know that's just an extra bonus. They have the longest losing streak in the nation. Does that put a little pressure on you at all? Um, not at all, because I was here when we, you know, we, 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 we were on a little losing streak my freshman year when I first got here. So, and I know how it feels to be on the other side, and uh, it doesn't make a difference when you, when you line up and uh, when you snap that football. I don't care what we did 17 weeks before this. I want to beat the person in front of me, and I know that's what they, what's on their mind right now. So, um, I feel like for them, it's going to, if anything, it's going to help them. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to sway, you know, sway mentally. For, for either team. Yes. How do players keep focused? Because I mean, you were involved in the play that ended that losing streak against with you and Terrell against Idaho. So just like, how, how do you keep focused week in and week out, even though you had so many losses in a row? Yeah, it's college football. And like I say, college football is a whirlwind. So many, so many things are going on, so many amazing things, bad things, you know, great things. So the fact that you have an opportunity to change anything it, it kind of boosts you, you know, it boosts you want. It gives you a little more excitement about what's going on. So, like I say, if anything, that loser streak is going to amp them up to come on to beat us. So, we're going to have to be ready for that. So you could just put into words, um, you know, what does this rivalry mean to you as a player here? Yeah, I've been here for uh, four years. I redshirted my sophomore year. So, I've seen it all. I've seen where we couldn't beat UTEP, and I've seen us beat UTEP. And um, I've seen a lot of players go in and out and from both sides. And me as a player, it's just it's, it's exciting to know that I'm, I see them every year and they can see how much I've grown as a player and I can show their coach and show their, their program and as a team how much, you know, we've grown. And it gives us an opportunity to, you know, say we, we, we're one of the best teams in this area.
Ken, do you got any questions for Javon? Yeah, I just wanted to ask about the other night. I mean, Coach said you basically have practiced much last week and come in and have 22 tackles. Uh, how does that feel? Uh, it feels great, and like I say, uh, they were they're a run team. So as a middle linebacker, it was fun to you know know that they're going to strap up and come at me. And coach told me that all week, and I already knew what I had to do to come in and you know stop the run, and that's something we needed to do. So I feel like those 22 tackles just they came just because they wanted to run right at me. So I feel like that was a big you know opportunity for me, and I feel like this week is is pretty much the same opportunity. Did you hear that? Did you have a, I saw after the. Posting got some family there. I don't know. Do they get to see you play a lot, or was that one of the rare times? That yeah, you... they drive down here every game. Even the weeks I was uh, I was hurt. They, you know, they're Aggie fans. They, yeah, so they're they're down here every weekend. You sort of hinted at this. Just talk about where the program was when you came in compared to where you guys are now. Yeah, we've grown a lot. I came here in uh, 2015, and like I said, we were on a little losing streak when I got here. But uh, like we've grown. That's why I have no. No, no doubts about our team this year. I've seen, I know the difference. I know what a, a losing program looks like because I was here when we, when we weren't doing well, and I know what Coach Martin has brought us to, and we, we're milestones from when I first got here. So um, I, that's why I have all the confidence in the world, and, and both our offense, defense, special teams, that you know we we'll, we'll get things on track because the the culture around here has changed a lot.